Hey guys, it's currently 8.07 a.m. and I'll be heading to Gippsland for the weekend with the Monash Medical Orchestra and I'm very very excited because today we'll be putting up our chamber performance with I'll be doing it with Josh and Sushi and they're two of my best friends so I am very very excited to play with them hopefully we don't mess up um and then tomorrow we'll be playing with the rest of the orchestra Sushi is going to be coming for dad to pick me up and we're going to Xenia's place and then Xenia's going to drive the three of us down to Gippsland. Yeah, and hopefully we don't drive her crazy in the car. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll be bringing you guys along on this journey. Hopefully I don't forget to vlog. Okay, I'm kind of scared for the performance. Not because I'm scared to perform, but like because I've been having a lot of performances and like commitments and stuff for the past few weeks. So basically like the past two days I have not practiced the repertoire and I'm just gonna go and play it today because I kind of burnt out, almost burnt out um, the past few days because it was kind of crazy like I was rushing from like six hours of music rehearsal to like six hours of med lessons in one day and on top of that I still had to um, do my revision and you know we started on after limb and stuff so um, I had to keep on top of my anatomy so that I wouldn't be lost in dissection and specimens classes so and also clean skills because we have an exam next week on the um, physical examination of the upper limb and I do not want to fail that so <clears throat> yeah it's been tough but I'm not complaining I signed up for this <laughs> yeah so I'm very excited for the weekend I'll catch up on everything later um, my three physio lectures, two farm lectures, two lower limb lectures. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Have you seen a car wagon? No, it's not! Oh my god, I hate you! <laughs>
can even fight them. Oh, there's this weird thing he actually does. Oh, that is it's funny. It's nice. Yes, Sushi. Have you story. ever seen Sushi? <laughs> She's actually never held one before. Oh. Apparently, you can hypnotize them if you put oh. their heads under their wing and then rock them. Oh, it's very cold. Put him down then if he's shaking a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just hold him around cold. his chest like this. Ah, oh, he's cold. He loves cuddles. Aww. Very beautiful dog. <gasps> Is he going to be a trained dog as well? No. Yeah, we have to get them in. They're like, they're really big animal sheep. And even the, even the, the ewes, the girl sheep, they're bigger than Behind <laughs> horses because yeah. then they'll kick yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. These horses don't get ridden very often. They don't get tired. Yeah, and that's a thing. They put their like sleepers in the rock. And then it ends up breaking them right. Oh, I am just. Hi. 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 Hi.
I'm gonna sit under the tree. <laughs> she has trust issues now. <laughs> I do. Walk in front of me. <laughs> Walk in front of you. Are, you are so scared, Anne. <laughs> I'm not gonna play that. I guess we're gonna play that. Shit. Okay, cool. No, it's actually not too bad. I go for it. Hi! He did this. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Oh, yes. 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 I just got back from Gippy and I feel like this is the best trip that I've had this entire year and it feels so short like we got there on a Friday and we performed on a Friday and then we hung out and then Saturday we had another concert and then Sunday we drove back um I don't know it's just so wholesome the people there were so sweet like okay so on a Friday we went we played like a 45 minute program at Budgery Hall. It was such an intimate setting. There was a lot of audience interaction and they even asked for an encore after that, which was really, really fun. And then they clapped along to our walls like Matilda. And we had, we received very good comments and they were very, very, very sweet. And the highlight of our, okay, like there was a lot of food there. The food was really good. We had like a Budgery tea, which is so good. And then one of the um, one of the people there, Amber, she's so sweet. She had three kids and then she was talking to us about her farm. So she kept talking about how, oh, you know, we can go to pet cows. At first it was a joke, but then she asked if we wanted to pet cows and then like we really, really wanted to pet them. So she actually let us go to her farm. Like she drove off of her kids and then we followed in the car behind her. And then um, she gave us like boots to walk in so we didn't dirty our shoes when we walked in the mud. And then Zenia was so sweet, like she sent us there. Zenia's such a great mom. <laughs> and she really took care of us the whole trip, which we are very, very thankful for. And I kept getting stuck in the mud, but that's besides the point. It was so fun. Like, I feel like that was really, really, really the highlight of the trip. And then we went back and we got to hang out with some of the other people doing gigs. So like, we all stayed in the same cabin and it was really fun. And um, yeah, they're mostly like, okay, no. Yeah, they're mostly fourth and fifth years. So, um, yeah, they were really, really very sweet to us. And I'm so grateful that we got to know each other better. And then we practiced for our skis, like, because we have an exam soon. And, like, they helped us a lot, which is really sweet. And then after that, we got to talk at night and stuff. And then we played some games. We had a really wholesome convos. And, yeah, I think Friday night was the best night of the whole trip. Like... Friday was just the best day out of all. And on Saturday, we went to the auditorium because the rest of the orchestra arrived. And then we also met some of the people that we met that were who were watching our concert at Budgery. Like they came down and some of them said um, they came down because they really enjoyed our performance on the Friday, which was so nice to hear. And then we got to talk to them more. And we got to take more pictures. Um, we got to play in the concert and with the rest of the orchestra. It was really fun. And then after that, there was like a party, MMO party. But 
like we stayed there Josh, Sushi and I stayed there for a while but then after that we were like we want to go watch Harry Potter and there were a lot of people there so we went back to our cabin and we watched Harry Potter and we wanted to watch like all seven but we only made it through like two movies we watched Prisoner of Azkaban and um what was the other one? Oh, Half Blood Prince and we didn't even finish Half Blood Prince yeah but okay anyway it was really fun and then this morning we left which was sad but yeah and I'm very, 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 very grateful, not only for the opportunity to perform in a place with such sweet and lovely people, but also just to spend time with MMO. And I really never expected, okay, I always expected that I would like Melbourne, but I never expected to be this happy. And I really think it's the people that make it what it is. And I am very, very, very grateful. And as you guys know, like, I sp like the past few weeks have been crazy for me. Like, I've been doing either a gig or concert, like, every single week. And then so many rehearsals and so much, like, med stuff as well. But I, I couldn't imagine living a life which was just met with no music. Like, I couldn't imagine just sitting down and studying and, like, okay, I guess it's fun. Like, you just sit and study and then you hang with friends at the weekend. I guess it's fun. But... I just couldn't imagine life without performing. And for sure, um, the three of us, we want to go back to Budgerie next year so we can meet all the people again. And yeah, I'm so thankful. And I need to study now as usual, but I'm gonna go sleep now because I am so tired. But yeah, I love you guys so much. And thank you for the wholesome weekend. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Yay.